Hello online viewers, welcome to our lecture video. In this lecture video, we are going to talk about contour gradient. I have already uploaded many more videos related to contouring, whose link you can find in the description box below. So right now we are going to talk about contour gradient. So what is contour gradient? Contour gradient is simply the imaginary line lying throughout on the surface of Earth and preserving a constant inclination to the horizontal. Here our constant inclination means it can be either our inclination of one in thirty, one in fifty. So we do we will not we will not have our uh, different uh, different contour gradient or different uh, inclination for our specific contour gradient next we have what we have is inclination of contour gradient is either a raising gradient or a falling gradient so the nature of grid uh, so the nature of contour gradient is either going to be in a, a rising nature or or, or in fall nature it is, it is not going to have both of nature or in intermediate so Mathematically, if we had to say contour gradient, it is simply defined as the ratio of vertical height in a specified horizontal distance. So, in order to make this clear, uh, I have given an example over here. So, let's say if I have a contour gradient of one in thirty, and let's say this is of a rising gradient, a rising gradient. So, what does this mean? This simply means that uh, for our one meter vertical height, one meter vertical height, there is going to be thirty meter horizontal height. So as I explained before, uh, explain ratio of vertical height in a specific horizontal distance. So for our specific horizontal distance of thirty meter, we are going to have our vertical height of one meter. So uh, so that's what our contour gradient uh, represents. And if we had our contour gradient of one in fifty, so what does that mean? Uh, what does it mean? It means it means that if we had a specified horizontal distance of fifty meter, our rise in vertical height is going to be one. So this is our lesser contour gradient, and if we had higher contour gradient, it will be one in twenty. So one in twenty, which means we'll have our vertical rise of one meter in just an horizontal distance of twenty meter. So this is our higher contour gradient. This is our lesser contour gradient. So you know, in order to explain this more clearly, let me draw a contour over here. So I'm going to draw a contour over here. And this is going to be. Uh, area of 100 meter is going to be area of 90 meter. We have our contour interval over here. We have our contour interval of 10 meter. This is our uh, contour interval 10 meter, contour interval of 100 meter, contour interval of uh, 90 meter. And if I had to draw an upward gradient, so let me just write over here. Let me, if I had to draw an upward gradient of 1 in 30, of 1 in 30, which means 1 meter vertical rise in 30 meter horizontal uh, horizontal distance, then my uh, ground horizontal equivalent, which means so if I have if I had to draw a contour line of contour gradient of let's say AV. AV, which has a rise of 1 in 30 1 in 30 so what I'm going to do simply over uh, here is uh, I'm going to draw a so I have my a over here so where I'm going to draw my B so what do, what is going to be the length of B that is determined by my ground horizontal equivalent ground horizontal equivalent so for my ground horizontal equivalent this is simply my ground horizontal equivalent is simply going to be uh, equal to contour interval into gradient so contour interval into gradient so right now what i have my contour interval is 10 meter and i have my gradient as uh, i have my gradient as 30 so if i 30 that is 30 meter which is going to be 300 no, no, it's going to be 30 uh, it's going to be 300 meter not meter over it's going to be 300 meter so uh, in order to draw my uh, draw my contour gradient of 1 in 30 for this contour line i have to draw my uh, i have to draw my line in such a way that it has at it has a length of 300 meter 300 meter 300 meter and if i uh, let's see if i drew a uh, drew a line which had uh, which has a length of 200 meter this is uh, i'm going to name this as b dash this is going to be my contour gradient of 1 in 20 1 in 20 uh, because if i put 20 over there i'm going to get a length of 200 oh, i'm going to get my ground horizontal equivalent as 200 meter so so this is so this is how i'm going to draw my contour gradient for my two com between my two contour lines and why do we need to draw the contour gradient what is the use of uh, contour gradient uh, the, the contour gradient the importance behind contour gradient is contour gradient are uh, really uh, useful when we are when we are doing our alignment of alignment of proposed road alignment of uh, proposed road comma uh, canal railway etc they are uh, contour gradient are useful in uh, this case scenario we are going to have our contour lines and if uh, let's say for our proposed road if we uh, if we need a uh, contour gradient of 1 in 20 1 in 20 or if we had to uh, if we had the rise of road as a 1 in 20 we are going to draw our contour uh, gradient and 
by drawing our uh, contour gradient uh, the, we can decide our alignment alignment of our proposed road canal etc can be uh, decided this can be uh, decided and located this can be decided and located by using our contour lines so as you can see here we are going to have our we are going to have our two contour lines we are going to have our contour interval and for our required uh, gradient uh, required gradient we are going to find our ground horizontal equivalent which will be simply equal to contour interval into gradient and we need to we have to draw our uh, we have to draw the those lines of specific those specific uh, specific ground horizontal equivalent to draw our required contour gradient so how are we going to draw this line so i'm going to explain it how we are going to trace our contour gradient i'm going to explain it next so now as you can see here i have drawn a few uh, contour lines over here we have a contour line of 190 80 70 60 and 50 meter and we have our contour interval over here we have our contour interval of 10 meter of 10 meter and let's see if we have right now we have to draw a upward gradient upward gradient of 1 in 1 is to 30 of 1 in 30 upward gradient of 1 in uh, 1 in 30 and we we, uh, we also need the scale uh, right now it's not in appropriate scale but let's say our contour is drawn in the scale of 1 is to 1 is to 30,000 so right now I need uh, my upward gradient of 1 in 30 so I explained before so let me just uh, pick out a point over here so I'm going to pick out this point A over here and if I have to draw my contour gradient so as I explained before the, ex the definition of contour gradient will become clear here imaginary line lying throughout on the surface of earth and preserving a constant inclination to the horizontal so as I explained before we have uh, E over here now we are going to draw our imaginary line our contour gradient is simply going to be our imaginary line having certain inclination so right now we are going to draw a upward gradient of 1 in 30 so it has an inclination of 1 meter vertical rise in 30 meter horizontal distance so that's the logic behind this now how are we going to do that is uh, we, uh, so as I explained before we, now we need our horizontal uh, horizontal uh, ground horizontal equivalent ground horizontal equivalent which is as I explained before it is the product of contour interval and gradient now I have my contour interval of 10 meter and I have my gradient of 30 this is going to be 300 meter so in order to draw my upward gradient of uh, upward gradient of 1 in 30 uh, next line which I have to draw it needs to have a length of 300 meter so as we have scaled down our contour uh, mapping we need to scale down this length as well so this means uh, 1 meter equals to 30,000 meter equals 30,000 meter which means our 1 meter on paper will be equal to 30,000 meter on our in, in our uh, ground so we need to draw 30 uh, 300 meter in our paper so 300 meter in ground will be simply equal to uh, this will be equal to this is in our drawing equals to ground 1 meter in drawing will be equal to 30,000 meter in ground so we have 300 uh, meter on ground so this will be uh, to 300 meter on uh, ground will be equal to 1 by 30,000 meter so 30,000 meter into 300 me meter in our drawing so if we got two zeros this will be equal to 3 meter divided by uh, 3 meter divided by uh, 3 meter uh, divided by 3 triple zero if I convert meter into centimeter I'm going to model it multiply it by 100 so if I cancel this down I'm going to get it says 1 centimeter so our uh, so using our scale 1 is to 30,000 our 300 meter uh, 300 meter ground version equivalent will be equal to 1 centimeter in our drawing so our so for our so our ground horizontal equivalent will be simply equal to 300 meter which is equal to 1 centimeter in our drawing using our this scale or simply uh, for our upward uh, upward grain what you can uh, what you can simply uh, do as well uh, for our upward grain instead of using formula we have 1 in 30 which means 1 meter equals to 30 meter for our 1 meter uh, vertical height we, we need to have our 30 meter horizontal uh, 30 meter horizontal distance so right now we have our vertical height uh, or our contour interval as 10 meter so simply multiply 10 meter will be simply equal to 30 into 10 so instead of rem remembering formula you can simply use this logic as well 1 meter equals to 30 meter so contour interval is 10 meter or a vertical difference is 10 meter so simply 30 uh, so simply so simply for our 1 meter 30 meter for so for our 10 meter it is simply equal to 30 into 10 as of unitary method 300 meter and then and using our scale of 1 is to 30 30,000 scaling it down for our drawing we are going to get 1 centimeter so our th 300 meter on our ground will be simply equal to 1 centimeter on our paper so what we are going to do next in our order to draw or draw or trace our contour gradients we are going to use a compass we are going to have a center a 
and we need to take a distance of one centimeter in our compass so we're going to take a distance of one centimeter and make two cut over here on right and on left so uh, so as you can either use this or uh, this you can um, so let me go in, let me name them as a so if i name this as a i'm going to name this as a dash so i can um, use any of them so right now i'm going to use my a and from my a i'm not going to change my compass in, in my compass i'm going to have uh, the distance of one centimeter only after taking that i'm going to make two marks so over here i have made this mark using one centimeter again going to a and make two marks two marks again move upward and just continue this process continue this process and move on to my final 100 meter mark and i have finally drawn my uh, contour gradient of contour gradient of our, of 1 in 30 upward gradient of 1 in 30 and what we are going to do next is we are simply going to join all these lines we are going to join this after this and just follow the lines and up to here so as you can see here this is going to be my uh, contour gradient of one uh, one in 30 you could have joined this line as well i'm going to name this as a b c d e and it's going to be uh, a dash uh, b dash uh, c dash d dash e dash you can draw this as well you can join this and draw but right now i'm, uh, I'm i have joined this one so let me just go into my definition portion so my first definition portion said imaginary line throughout the surface of earth and preserving a constant inclination to the horizontal and inclination of contour gradient is either raising gradient or falling gradient so as you can see here since i have drawn an upward gradient of 1 in 30 which means 1 meter rise for our 30 meter uh, horizontal distance so as you can see here it is rising only and uh, the first definition imaginary line it has also been explained by this and it is uh, preserved a constant inclination of 1 in 30 1 in 30 and for my application portion as i said it helps to decide and uh, decide and locate our alignment of proposed road or railway uh, of railway canal etc so as you can see here in this way uh, let's say if i had my road or my proposed road which had a gradient of 1 in 30 this is going to be how my road uh, looks uh, on this different contour uh, intervals so hope this video was of help to you and if you have any queries uh, you can comment down below and if you like our content do subscribe the channel it will uh, motivate me to upload more similar videos thank you